everyone welcome back to my channel so i haven't actually done one of these videos in a really 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 long time and it's kind of like a half ass drive with me because probably not gonna film whilst i'm driving but i'm doing a drive with me I want to do more of these videos where like i just sit in the car and talk and today i need to run loads of errands it's a saturday and i just need to go to shops like home bargains and like audi and get like random little bits that i need for the house and to survive being an adult i need to get things like toothpaste and cleaning stuff and toilet roll and just all like the household essentials i guess i've come to a little like what do you call it like retail park and they've got the ice and food warehouse which i want to get some stuff from because went in there for the first time the other day and it is incredible i cannot believe i've not been in before then i'm going to go to audi home bargains and i think i'm going to get something from costa because i would really 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 love a white hot chocolate but before i get into this video i do have a very exciting haul that i actually filmed at home this morning before i came out and it is a white fox haul as you can see i'm in my white fox jumper and it is just the comfiest thing ever so i thought i would do you guys a haul and show you guys what i've got for them recently it's that time again i am back with another white fox haul and i have got some good pieces for you guys this time and obviously before we get into the haul i've got a discount code so you can use the code anastasia i will pop it on screen here and you're going to get 15 percent off your entire order excluding sale and claps i've got a lot of bits here to show you but white fox also stock white fox swim and white fox active wear and afterpay is available for customers in australia new zealand and america and a little bit of exciting news for those of us who actually live in the uk white fox now have a uk website which means quicker deliveries and you actually get free delivery if you spend over a thousand pounds First of all, I'm actually in Byron's white fox jumper. He left it at mine and I was like, you can just, you can leave that at mine because it's mine. But I have actually got a couple of sets to show you. I think these might be like my favourite items that white fox actually do. I have got the Leisure Series sweatpants in the shade Shadow. That was a complete tongue twister. And then I've got the Offstage hoodie in the shade Shadow. Why can I not speak today? First of all, these are the joggers. They are gorge. I'm loving this grey colour. And then just here... It says White Fox Leisure. And yeah, they're just nice, big, baggy, grey joggers. Of course, they've got a pocket. And you're going to go all the way down. And they're cuffed. And I mean, you don't say anymore. They're literally just like the perfect pair of joggers. And then I've got this hoodie. And it says White Fox Volume 3 on it. And then on the back, it also says White Fox Volume 3. I just live in stuff like this. I think everybody who watches my videos knows by now that like I rarely get actually dressed up in a video. I'm just always living in stuff like this. So, so yeah, I've got this set. And I actually got the joggers in a medium if you're wondering and I got the hoodie in a small medium and it fits perfect like this one that I have on now is a large it's a little bit more oversized but this one is a small medium and then I got another one of these sets however I have actually taken the label off so I'm gonna have to write on screen what set this is because I wore this out to town the other day um, but it's so gorgeous it says what again white fox volume 3 and it says white fox volume 3 on the back and this is like a stony sort of color and then I've got the matching jogger here love these joggers so much these are a little bit more like fitted around the top but i think it's because what size are these these are small whereas my others are a medium so yeah these are a little bit more fitted um and they've got like lined pockets here and again they are just some gorgeous cuffed joggers but so comfy i genuinely like live my life in white fox tracksuits then recently there's something about red and gray as like a combination that i really love and i really wanted the like the sweatshirt set in the red and the gray but it was actually sold out so i'm gonna get that as soon as it comes back in stock but i managed to get the t-shirt and i'm just there's something about red at the moment i'm just really enjoying like normally you guys know i kind of try to avoid that color a little bit um and i'll have like the odd clothing item but i just won't ever wear it however i'm really enjoying this and i want to get some red shoes to like tie in the full outfit maybe like a little red bag but this is the offstage oversized tee and it's in the shade alloy gray mine is a medium slash large so it's going to be a little bit oversized on me i just way prefer the baggier oversized look um and yeah it's just a gray t-shirt and then it says white fox volume three but in like the red bubble writing but i just loved the color combination of the gray and the red i thought it was gorge very random one but then i actually picked up some pajamas so these are the don't wake me up pajama set and i got mine in an extra small so this is the top it's just like a nice black ribbed button top um, and then you've got the matching bottoms here but i really like them again they're just black ribs they're like nice and flowy they'll be quite tight at the top and then they're going to flow down maybe into like a slight little flare which is going to be nice but i just really wanted some new pajamas because i am so 
bad like i genuinely will just go to bed in a hoodie or just go to bed in like an old t-shirt i actually need to start wearing proper pajamas so when i saw these on the website i was like hmm this is perfect and they're really cute like I'm, if i'm gonna get pajamas i want them to be cute you know it wouldn't be a white fox haul unless i got a pair of white fox jeans and i love these ones these are the always be yourself jeans in a black acid wash so i actually have these but in a lighter blue wash already and because i love the fit of them i was like i need to get a pair in like a different color so it just says white fox on this little bit at the back these jeans fit perfectly on my waist i can't express how much i love these jeans they're like my favorite pair of jeans ever um and then you just go down like this and they flare out and they like cuff over a little bit at the bottom but i love these because they're the perfect length like it's really annoying when you find like the perfect fitting pair of jeans but then when you put them on they like drag on the floor and it's really annoying like, when it's raining and stuff but these fit perfectly and i'm a short gal i'm like five three pushing on five four so if you're looking for the perfect pair of jeans honestly guys white fox is the place to be and then i got this cute little corset i'm gonna wear this with the jeans actually and this is the way you feel bustier corset and i got mine in a medium um and this is obviously white i think they did it in black as well but it's just a gorgeous kind of like lacy corset and it's got a cute little bow here that drops down i feel like bows are like everybody's wearing bows at the moment like or adding bows to everything and i'm really enjoying that trend um so as soon as i saw it, it had a little bow on it i was like oh that is so cute and just to wear on like a night out with jeans or like a skirt or something it's just a nice little staple to have in your wardrobe then i got a shirt and this is maybe a little bit forward thinking into the warmer months for when it's like summer but i love an oversized shirt with a bikini or even like jeans when you're just like it's too cold to not wear a jacket but it's not warm enough like a thick coat um just kind of like spring vibes and i really liked it this is like a like a stone shade oversized shirt um i got mine in a large and it is called the you're my holiday shirt there you go it's perfect for holidays but it's this gorgeous like stone material but it's got a little bit more detail to that it's not just like a solid color it's like a really high quality fabric i think i'm going to save this mostly for when i go on holidays in the summer and like have it chucked over a bikini and then i actually got a black all-in-one which i think i'm going to wear to the gym so this is life is short ribbed jumpsuit but saying that i also wear stuff like this all the time just around the house i think all in ones are so comfy and i actually tend to wear all in ones like under hoodies just because it gives you like that little extra layer and this is just a black ribbed one very short obviously short sleeve it's got little straps here and they're adjustable as well which is nice and then it's just super tight fitting all the way down here and this is going to be really figure hugging which i personally love i love something that's kind of like shows off my figure so yeah very excited about this one definitely gonna be wearing this to the gym but also just like to lounge around and it'd be cozy and then as you guys might know i've been slightly getting into the gym recently really enjoying being a gym girly so i picked up this water bottle i've never seen these on white fox before but i love it like it's so nice it's one of those water bottles where you can put ice in it and it like won't melt for hours like it's one of those like in not insulating or is, is it insulating i don't know but you know what i mean um and it's just pastel pink and it says white fox on it and i was like this is the perfect water bottle i love it and then i actually got this canvas tote bag which i'm also going to take to the gym with me um and i just thought this was really nice it's literally just like a canvasy color and it says white fox on it but just to wear to the gym and to have this like it's just such a cute little like set i just i don't know i fell in love with them so if you're looking for some new cute gym stuff or just a general bag and bottle white fox that is everything that i got from white fox this time i am in love with it i think white fox actually might be my favorite place to shop right now because they never miss like every item i try on i'm like yep love it remember to use my code anastasia for 15 percent off excluding a sale and collapse and other than that let's get back to the video and now we're back in the car i don't know whether to film in the shops i mean realistically i'm gonna try and be so quick because as i said it is a saturday it is one minute past two and to be honest it's actually not as busy as i thought it was gonna be i think weirdly sunday is busier so i'm actually glad that i'm filming this today and not tomorrow but i just kind of want to go in the shops and get out the shops like just go in get what i need and come back out and then do you guys a haul in the car and then when we get home tonight i think i'm gonna try some of the food that i get in the Iceland warehouse because i don't know if you've been into one before like even no what it is but they basically just have like loads of really random food items but like all branded so they'll have like a full cathedral city range a full tgi friday's range a full greg's range and i really want to like try them all in different videos so i think i might buy a couple of items from like one of the ranges and try them for dinner tonight but first shop i'm going to go to is home bargains and go and get all my household bits that i need and then we'll get a costa and we can sit and have a catch up and because i'm filming this in the car I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys like what my playlist is looking like at the moment because 
because it's a little bit different when i say playlist i just have liked songs on spotify and actually have like a specific playlist but i want to recommend you guys some songs because i never ever do that and i feel like that could be quite fun i should not be as excited for this haul than i am but i went to the food warehouse and i went to home bargains and i just got stuff that i really needed but then i just a few little extra bits that i was like hmm i'm gonna treat myself so first of all from the food warehouse i decided to get the tgi range to try today so i got the garlic and cheese ciabatta with monterey jack cheese like garlic bread stick things and then i got the tgi sesame chicken strips in a tennessee style glaze but they looked really good and then i also got these tgi's 10 barbecue filled mozzarella bites so i didn't really get any like chips or anything i have just realized but i have got some chips i think in the fridge that i can have to be honest it is quite expensive like i feel like obviously i'm not gonna have all that tight like it will last me two or three dinners but that come to 11 pounds which yeah i do think is quite expensive for that but very excited about that can't wait to have my tgi range then i went to a home bargain so got some kitchen foil obviously very standard need that in the kitchen and then i tripped, found these just down like the little like toiletry aisle this exfoliating glove and it's so nice i love the like the linen feel of it and this was 30p got myself this sponge and this was 50p and then i also got the matching little loofah just to hang in my shower and i thought those three together are gonna look so nice i think it's also just gonna make the shower feel a bit more like spa like i don't know i want to make it not you can't make a shower feel cozy that's so silly but i know what i mean just a bit more like nice rather than just having my toiletries in so got all of these and that literally comes to like a pound all three of those and then i got two new toothbrushes i just got these ones these are the humble brush plant-based materials and they're gonna look nice in the bathroom as well and then i also got some more toothpaste and then i got some ibuprofen i always just get like a random pack of tablets when i go to these shops just so i've got them in the cupboard and stuff because obviously you need tablets sometimes and then i I found these never seen these before but i thought they looked quite nice because obviously i've been going to the gym and stuff so i've been trying to eat a little bit healthier and these are the skinny 92 percent less sugar chocoholic snack pots so i got two of the white chocolate ones and then one of the milk chocolate ones and they were three for a pound so i'm excited to try those i feel like they're gonna be like they were choc dips i think you can still buy them in certain places but i assume they're gonna be pretty much like that then i got so excited about this i got some dr beckham carpet stain remover this might seem so weird to get excited over but my living room carpet is actually filthy like it needs such a good clean so when i get back i'm literally gonna get on my hands and knees and clean the full carpet with this but yeah finally got some of that and then i just got are these my last two things the bag feels heavy for some reason yeah these are the last two things i just got some surface antibacterial wipes so as you can see a very 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 practical haul but all stuff that i just needed in the house i mean i didn't really need these and i didn't really need a new exfoliating glove but i thought for a pound it just looked so nice and when i'm scrubbing my tan off because i have started fake tanning again i didn't really want to i'll be honest i really wanted to hold out and wait until summer and see if i could get a real tan but i was honestly feeling so sh and i think it actually is because of how pale i am although i've not done my face because oh my gosh so yesterday i was speaking about this in my last vlog actually i went to face gym and i am obsessed like i really want to like start putting it into like my normal routine the only thing is obviously it's fairly expensive i think the one that i paid for yesterday was 90 pounds and then when i was there i added on a shoulder and neck massage so glad that i did because i feel like she's relieved so much tension from my body but she was like massaging muscles that i basically didn't know i had it was painful but in like a good painful way like i can tell that what you're doing is doing something that needs to be done so i just need to stick the pain out but i said to her to do like a medium like motion and it was painful however it was like a good pain like i said and it was amazing in the facial like all the stuff that they use they use this like muscle contractor thing and said the results will last for about a week but it's like snatched my face and i had really bad like smile lines here which would always show up with like makeup on and stuff and even when i didn't have makeup on you could just really see when my skin was sunken in and then she did it and she did like one side of my face first so i could see the difference and the difference was crazy like i literally just looked snatched because she'd like worked all of the muscles so yeah that was amazing and then they did this like jet wash thing on your face to get like clean out your pores and my skin just felt incredible when i left i was like i cannot believe i've never done this before so i would highly recommend face gym i have in fact booked another one for five weeks time because they say do it roughly once a month but i'm not going to do it once a month that's how expensive it is i'm going to do it once every couple of months but when i was there you know when they're like you should buy the products you should book in i always fall foul to it i can never be like no it's okay so i always feel pressured like there was like five six of them and there was one of me and i was like yeah i'm just gonna book in if i want to cancel i can cancel but yeah i'm really excited to go back actually 
actually because now i know what it is i'm going to look forward to it and i think it will be a lot more relaxing next time around because i now i know what i'm expecting and like she's already worked the muscles so it's not like brand new do you know what i mean but yeah i just had to say that because i highly recommend facium i thought it was amazing but now i'm actually going to go over to costa and i'm going to get a white hot chocolate and i might get a little snack i've seen on uber eats menu that they have cornflake cakes so i'm really hoping they're going to have one in stock because i think that's sick like i love cornflake cakes like you can't really buy them from like any fast food place so a white hot chocolate and a cornflake cake is going to go down a treat right now i didn't actually get a white hot chocolate because i just realized do i still have a christmas cup i still have a christmas cup costa have released these new hot milkshakes so this is a caramel and coffee hot milkshake it kind of sounds disgusting but also like it might be really nice so taste test oh i'm not sure oh i'm really not sure i can't tell whether it's amazing or actually the worst thing i've ever tasted in my life oh i don't know no i'm not sure i can drink that i like the consistency and i like the idea i think it's because it has coffee in it i think i should have gone for either the strawberry one or the chocolate one but because it said caramel i was like oh i'm gonna like a caramel one but it has too much coffee in however i actually quite like the idea like when i first tasted it i was a bit like oh but now i'm thinking about it i i like the product i just don't like this flavor but kind of cool they do hot chocolates what i'm on about hot milkshakes and they didn't actually have any cornflake cakes i think they might just be on uber Eats, so i got a chocolate chip cookie instead <laughs> oh my goodness anyway let's talk music now i've tried costa so i'm gonna go on my spotify first of all are you a spotify or apple music i'm biased i'm a spotify girly i actually think it's physically impossible for me to use apple music i just do not like it but each of their own right first one i'm just gonna go down my liked songs at the moment and i'll pop them up here as well so you can see you've got angel numbers by chris brown we have been blasting this song it's from his new album and i think it's such a beautiful song i love it we've got no bars city girls i really like that song ftcu from Nicki minaj's new album again i personally think that's probably the best song on there when i first listened to her new album i was a bit like what is this like it just it, to me it was just so weird and then the more i've listened to it the more i'm like okay i'm actually vibing with this now and i really like that song gorgeous remix featuring city girls by t grizzly skiller baby i have no idea who those are but i listen to it because it's city girls and i think that's a really good song tate mccray oh my goodness her album just her as a person first of all like i i've always kind of listened to her music but i feel like just recently everyone's become obsessed with her and i really started listening to her music just before she released a new album and then a new album came out and i was like this is like the most insane timing because i think i'm in love with the girl so i've got a couple of her songs saved i've got think later which is i think maybe my favorite from the album got hurt my feelings and run for the hills just overall obsessed i want tour tickets so bad and they sold out so i'm really annoyed at myself for not getting them then we've got beyonce at my house i obviously i heard the song from everybody playing it on like spotify spotify for everybody playing it on tiktok and stuff and then i went to go watch the renaissance film and obviously it's at the end of the film and i'm so gutted that i heard it on tiktok before i heard it in the cinema because i would have loved to have been had like a complete blind reaction and been like oh my god what is this song so i got that one got make up your mind by chris brown that's also from his new album x's tate mccray obviously i love her i've got idgaf by drake and ye i really like that song as well rich baby daddy by drake obviously i feel like everybody loves that song both by tiesto and 21 savage i really like that song i think that's such a good song and yes indeed by Lil baby and drake i've got like as soon as i basically hear a song i add it to my light and then i'll like overplay it so even if it's an old song i'm still gonna listen to it on repeat delhi by ice spice maybe let me go in the top 50 and see which ones i've been loving oh i haven't heard ariana grande's new song yet yes and but i've seen like the visuals on tiktok and apparently she's like referenced all of her old albums in that so i've seen that but i haven't listened to the song yet murder on the dance floor of course that's number three because of salt burn also has, any, has everybody seen salt burn because am i sick for saying like i really enjoyed the film the first time i watched it i genuinely was like i watched it at center parks at christmas and not with everybody by the way on my own and i was gobsmacked but then the more i've thought about it and the more i've seen the interviews and stuff where she explains why the director explains why she did certain things and picked certain clothing and like and the more i've seen barry speak about his role the more that like i've fallen in love with the film and i actually think it's like a piece of art i don't know i, d I really 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 enjoyed it what other songs are in the top <laughs> 
why did mr brightside just start playing water by tyler that's such a good song oh i haven't actually listened to 21 savages new album but a lot of these are in the top 50 as well so maybe i'm gonna listen to that on the way home but i feel like they're just some of the some of the recent songs oh on my love by zara larson david getter love that song as well i need to re-add that to my likes actually well right, i'm gonna listen to 21 savages album on the way home because i haven't listened to that yet but i'm now gonna go home and that was actually so quick to run errands guys i've literally had the most productive day ever i woke up i had a bit of a line this morning like didn't get out of bed until half 10 and then i called my mum and i was on the phone to my mum until quarter past 11 and then i got ready i filmed so much like work stuff that i needed to get done and now it's only 2 40 like i've just done everything in such good time today and then i'm gonna go to the gym tonight i'm gonna have a really productive evening i'm gonna edit everything and then i'm actually going to the lake district tomorrow for a day out which is gonna be lovely it is a date i wasn't gonna say that but it is a date we're going to the lake district for the date which is gonna be lovely it's date number three if you want to hear about date number one and two you can go listen to the podcast but i'm just giving like little updates i don't want to say anything like too crazy because i always jump the gun and get so excited about everything and i need to not do that but yeah it's gonna be really nice to go for a day out even though it is freezing so cold and i don't have a beanie i really that's what i should have bought today i should have bought a black beanie unless cal has one that i can borrow actually because he lives in my building so i feel like it's just easy to borrow stuff off of him now i can just be like hi do you have a hat i can borrow can i run upstairs and get it anyway i'm gonna go home now and i'm gonna pack all my new stuff away sort out my new shower with all my new little bits in oh, this chunk of chocolate oh! and then we can go to the gym and have tj fridays for dinner that sounds like an unbelievable saturday night i got a beanie guys i got it from byron byron actually bought this one when we went to the traffic center the other day and i said to him i was like i need to borrow your beanie because my hair's gonna fly everywhere so i got a beanie but i'm back now i'm just gonna pack everything away and then do i go to the gym yeah i'm gonna go to the gym thing is but if i go to the gym and get it out of the way and then i can just come back shower get my makeup off cook some tgis have a lovely night in there's a new film i want to watch actually on netflix that looks really really good can't remember the name of it but i'll tell you guys later just washed out and filled my water bottle up and i've just packed my gym bag i'm taking all my white fox stuff today and i'm also in my um white fox hoodie and my white fox active wear so it's time for a nice little workout then we can come back and cook some dinner after our little random yoga session that we figured we could do in our building but i've come back up and it's time to make dinner so i've actually made like a little side salad to have with my dinner i've just put all the tgi stuff in and i'm going to try it for you guys i've got the little sauce like defrosting but melting in this little cup here but thought i'd try and make it a little bit healthy and have a salad with it yum look at these i just covered them in barbecue sauce and the sesame seeds they look and smell exactly like the tgi ones and here is the finished dinner this actually looks so good guys i've not eaten since i had that little costa thing earlier so let's give it a try please just ignore what i look like i am still sweating and i have no idea why i went to the gym with a full face of makeup on but let's give these a try let's have some of the chicken Oh wow. Mmm. That chicken is a joke. That is an absolute joke. I knew these were going to be good. They are unbelievable. Oh my god. Let's try these the barbecue and cheese mozzarella bite. What? I'm a bit gobsmacked here, guys. This is like incredible. That is so good. Let's try this. This is an amazing dinner. Like, this is so, this literally took me 20 minutes. So easy. And I feel better that I've got the salad with it because it makes the dinner a bit nicer for me that I have the salad with it because I wouldn't just really want it without something else with it. And I wouldn't really want chips because I think that's a bit too heavy. But 10 out of 10 dinner here. I am now gonna sit and finish this and I'm gonna finish watching The Sleepover on Netflix. Um, I have actually watched it before, but I'll just put it on again whilst I'm eating food. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. Did forget to mention actually when we were in the gym. Yeah, me and Callum found this room and it's like a spare room that you can go in there's like a tv and it has like loads of mats and like weights and stuff and we put like a yoga routine and like a stretching routine on the tv and it was so good i'm definitely going to incorporate that into my new gym girl routine but anyway yeah thank you so much for watching and make sure you use my white force discount code which is anastasia it will get you 15 percent off site wide excluding sales and collapse and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new video bye